Welcome to Best Movie Ever. You may notice it looks a little bit different this time around. Well, that's because we are all snowed in. Yeah, we're all stuck at home. Couldn't get to the movie set tonight, but we still wanted to bring you an episode. So we got a Google Hangout set up. We're going to do our episode from our own comfortable, warm homes, and you get to see the product of that. All right. Well, we've got a guest tonight. If you didn't notice that there's another face on screen that you haven't seen before, this is Timothy Long. Say hi, Tim. Hey, yeah. Uh... Hey, Tim. He's going to be joining us for the discussion tonight, and the topic of this discussion is best movie of 2016. That's right. Best movie of the year. I will say, at the time of this recording, there are some movies that haven't quite been released yet, so we haven't been able to review them at all, so they're actually going to be not on the table for a discussion tonight. If you want to see the full list of what we're going off of, you can check the description below. There is a full ballot down there. All right, well, let's get to it. I've got a timer set for three minutes. And we're going to start in three, two, one. Arrival. Uh, Arrival. Oh, okay. Yes. That's Axel right. Ridge. Ooh. Axel. Ooh. Hell uh, or high water. Oh I gosh, almost guys. picked that one. I almost picked that one, Tim. I almost okay. picked Arrival. So. Okay. Um, it was between those two pick. for me. I think my pick is Hunt for the Wilder People. I loved that one. Oh my god! Really I loved fun. that one. And here's here's why. Here's why. Um, that movie could have been so boring and so bad. Yeah. In so many ways, yeah. but it was so fun and it, it totally catches you off guard. But you're totally on board with yes, it. Yes, yes, loved yes. it. Yes. Oh man, it's so good. Um, but my other pick was Arrival. I will Arrival say, Arrival was brilliant. Uh-huh. It Arrival was brilliant. Was good. Uh, like, Amy Adams, you were with her the whole time. It was, it yeah. was the, it was like that messed messed with you too. It was oh, yeah. the most real, real feeling uh, alien movie I've ever seen. It's like you, you're yeah. there with her. It's like this mm-hmm. is real. These people, like, how do we communicate? This is, in- and then the whole twist was amazing. Uh, the twist yeah. was I won't, so good. Oh, I won't say yes. the twist because. I, I don't want to spoil yeah, it for anybody. Well, that was, <clears throat> totally well, what I have to say about Hacksaw Ridge, though, is that it didn't feel like... It felt like two movies to me. I mean... Really? They had to, like, set up the whole relationship, like, and the whole... Yeah. And then and then there was a whole different movie once he actually goes to war. And it was just... Well, he, it just he, felt incredibly long for me because it was... It, it required a lot of setup to get him to, to war... I think uh, well, just I, think, his... I think that that's what set him to do the things he did there. Yeah. And so. No, yeah, I know completely, but yeah, it just like it, it was just way it. too long of a setup to actually get him there. Yeah, the, it's the a movie awesome itself. Setup, like... setup, I think I think yeah. it, it, with a war movie, you're kind of having to, it, it you know, make it a little bit longer than it may. Uh, end up may may have been or something yeah. like that. But well, you got to do it in a way that you don't lose the engagement. Tim, yeah. I'm curious about yeah. Hell or High Water. I didn't lose engagement with it. That's mm-hmm. part yeah. of what went into it for me. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll transition to the Hell or High Water really quick. I just want to say I totally agree with like with war movies in general. You just got to have the slow build up and the slow setup. Like it's just the mainstay of war movies. So I don't think that's really a knock on Hacksaw Ridge. You just used to that at that point. Yeah. If it works, yeah. it works. Yeah. Hell or High Water was such a surprising movie. I was expecting like a very fast. Well, it was. It had. It was fast paced. It was an amazingly well paced movie. But I was expecting yeah. a more yeah. like intense on the rails like chase film. <laughs> huh. I was expecting yeah. something yeah. like like a revenge plot, something with uh, hmm. Jeff Bridges chasing down the brothers. And instead, it was this really. Um, like a touching story about the like the decay of the Midwest yes. yeah. and how corporations. Oh my gosh, promoted. that's the time! Oh, I oh, yeah, that's no, so I, much I, more. I, I agree. Agree. Okay, well that is the time. As always, everyone will get a chance to go around and make a final pick. We will go ahead and start with Chris. Chris, what's your final pick? I'm gonna have to switch to Arrival. Oh, all right. Look at mm. that first. Conversion. All right, Jeremy, mm-hmm. what do you got? I'm going to have to switch to Hunt for the Wilder People. Awesome. All right, Tim, what's your uh, final pick? I'm, I'm sticking with uh, Hell or High Water. I really, nice. really liked Arrival, but yeah. uh, Hell or High Water blew me away even more. All right, well, I am going to have to stick with Hunt for Wilder People. I, just, <laughs> I thought that was great. I was, I was very impressed by it. 
All right, we want to know your thoughts. Please let us know if we missed a movie on our ballot. Um, we just love talking about movies. This is a best movie ever that we look forward to each year. Uh, we want to hear your picks. We want we want to hear if you disagree with us in any way. We just want to talk to you. So let us know. But for now, this has been the best movie ever, best of 2016. Have a good night.